Alright, so this is my stuff review for uh, PlayStation 3's Red Dead Redemption. Now, I know a lot of you have saw the trailers and the commercials and all that different stuff. But I'm going to cut through all that bullshit. What you see on the commercials is nothing compared to actually playing the game. Um, now, when I first got the game, I was so stoked to get home. I mean, you see the poster behind me. Now, see, the thing is, when I got this poster, don't y'all think it should have been John Marston instead, instead of Bonnie McFarlane? I don't know, maybe that's just me. But anyway, um, when I first popped it in, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I was just expecting maybe a mediocre Grand Theft Auto 4 clone. Well, I don't say mediocre. The game was okay. But it impressed me a lot more than Grand Theft Auto 4 did uh, within the first week. This game was by far probably one of the best things Rockstar's put out to date so far. Um, when I first started playing it, you know, I jumped right into the story because I wanted to learn about who the main character was, what his backstory was, and I was kind of sad that it took off to a real slow start, but once you start moving midway through the game, it builds up really big and it's worth the wait. Um, you know, I played maybe a good solid hour of the story, and it's kind of slow, but you get to learn who John Marston is as a person, you know, what his you know, outlook on who he is and the people around him and stuff like that. And he's a good person. He's not a bad person. Uh, you know, you'll hear him admit he's done some wrong stuff, but he's a good person in the game. Um, now, aside from all that, what I mainly came to talk about was the multiplayer. The multiplayer is by far the best multiplayer free room I have played in the longest time. Rockstar tried to do good with Grand Theft Auto 4, but they fell short. I think this is a lot nicer. You know, the scenery is really nice and detailed and real beautiful. The weather changes from, like, stormy to a dust storm to it snows in the mountains. And they've added, you know, wildlife. That's where Grand Theft Auto 4 was just cities and a bunch of crazy people with guns and running around and stuff. Not very exciting. But, anyway... Um, the cool thing about the game is, is there's different standards, like there's different matches you can do. Like, uh, in the video you'll see in the very beginning, uh, I did standoff with three other people. Uh, that's how you start the match. What happens is you have to be the last person standing, go to the high point, get as many kills as you can. Um, you know, there's gold rush mode where you steal the bags of gold and load them up and different shit like that. So, you know, stuff like that. Um, the main free room multiplayer is so fun. You can just stick around, you know, work on your challenges, like work on your bounty, uh, finding herbs, uh, hunting, sharpshooting, different stuff like that, going and taking out gang hideouts, you know, really nice stuff like that. And the nice thing about it is the further you progress in the game, the more weapons you get, the more challenges you get. Uh, you can unlock titles for your characters, mounts, uh, even different characters actually. And, you know, you unlock, like I said, more challenges and they'll go in the rank of, it'll say, sharpshooter rank 1, blah blah blah, like shoot 5 birds or something like that, and sharpshooter rank 2, level 1 is like shoot the hat off of two people within 5 consecutive seconds or something like that. You know, the challenges get, they scale harder, but it's so worth it to get that experience. Um, you know, the, um, there is a couple main flukes with the multiplayer that I found that are disappointing to me. It's stuff that you would have in single player, but you won't have in multiplayer. And you find yourself getting used to in single player, but they rip it away from you in the multiplayer. Uh, I got used to taking, you know, the trains, you know, hijacking them and doing all that fun stuff. Um, and the lasso, you know, I'd love to see that stuff in the game, but even with that, it's still very, very fun. You know, I've played up to 16 people free roam. Now, not with none of my friends, just random people I don't know. but. Forming the posse and just going and getting shit done together is completely what the multiplayer free room is about. And you can still go and do stuff on your own, but it's a lot funner with a lot more people when you're actually online. Um, another thing is, uh, I don't know if people know this or not, PlayStation 3 got the exclusive uh, Solomon's Folly and something else, I can't remember. But, you know, that's... The show that Rockstar really cares about their community or whatever, given PlayStation exclusive stuff, when they've been on the PlayStation console for the longest time, is so satisfying. Um, another thing that comes with this game, I think it came with Grand Theft Auto 4 also, 
uh, it's the social club, which is really sweet. You can go in there and do challenges and unlock cheat codes and different stuff. Like, if you do the one, you get blazing bullets, which is where you shoot and set your enemies on fire. Uh, which, that's really fun, but the shitty thing is, if you enter these codes into the game, you cannot save. You can't save the game, which is okay if you're going to play straight through, but it's not really worth having the codes. Um, you know, another thing I left out about the single player is the ability to get the outfits, the different mini games. There's like arm wrestling, five finger fillet, liar's dice, poker, blackjack, all that different shit. You know, a lot of stuff you can do. You can go and do bounties, you can go and buy houses, you know, and the social club updates you in your status of the game, which is really nice too. But, you know, don't take my word for it. Um, I've got two other people behind me waiting to do this review. I've got my buddy Loaf for Life and uh, the last Templar, uh, Sam. They're both going to be helping me put this review together. So, like I said, don't take my word for it. Read what they have to say. You know, all of our opinions are varied, but I think we all pretty much got the same outlook on this game. It was very impressive for Rockstar's, I think, their first 2010 game. Uh, if I had to, I would advise this for anybody over the age of 18 to get. Don't get it for your kids if they're little, unless mommy and daddy don't care. But, um, it's really impressive. You know, try it if you like Western games. Try it if you like Grand Theft Auto style games. Um, my personal opinion, I would honestly give this game a 10 out of 10 for the year. Unless something else comes along that impresses me. You know, for now, this has got to be the best game I've played of 2010 by far. But anyways, thanks for watching this review. I'm going to go. Peace.